all right guys welcome back to another video guys i have me some nice okra fried rice right here and it is coming into okra season and i absolutely love me some okra so you guys are going to be seeing several videos of the different ways that i fix my okra but first guys i just want to thank everyone that wished me a happy birthday on monday i really really appreciated it and a special thank you to my buddy Curly that gave me a gift card. I really appreciate that. And I haven't checked my post office box yet to see if there was anything else. But if it is, guys, I will definitely make it my business to give you a personal thank you shout out. Alrighty, guys, let's jump into this video and I'm going to show you how I get this rice done. Alrighty guys, so this is everything that I'm going to be using for my okra fried rice. And it is coming along okra season, but it's not here yet. And I'm still waiting to get some nice fresh okra. So I'm going to be using some frozen okra today. And I have me some sausage. And I have some leftover rice. Then I have my tomato bouillon. Black pepper. Onion powder some kitchen bouquet and I have some soy sauce and I have some onions alrighty guys so we are gonna go ahead and get these okra frying I have me some vegetable oil and I let it get really really hot guys until the point that it was smoking and then I just get my okra down inside of there and starting off with really hot grease is gonna really helped to get uh, rid of that slime off of it which it wasn't any or wasn't too much slime left on it because of how I let it dry out first and then I just added my black pepper and I just gave it a mix spread it out as much as possible and I'm just going to let that fry for about three or four minutes all right then I'm going to come back in and give it a nice stir and it just had just a little slime left on it. So I'm just continuing to stir that. And then I'm going to let it fry another three, four minutes before I come in and add my uh, onions and sausage to it. And guys, I definitely prefer using fresh okra. But if you could only get frozen, definitely take it out and let it kind of air dry first before you start frying it. Otherwise, it's going to be just one big soggy mess. All right, so this is how my okras are looking. You can see that they're not even sticking together or anything. And that's because I started off with really, really hot grease. All right, so once I get that mixed around a little bit, I'm going to come in and add my onions inside of here. If I ever stop stirring it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get these onions in. And I just got these diced really, really fine. I don't want big uh, portions of onion inside of this. Then I'm going to get my sausage added. And we're going to give that another stir. And I'm just going to let that sit until my onions soften a little bit. And my sauces develop a little color on them. Alrighty guys, I am back. And my sausage has a little color on it. And I know that my onions are getting nice and tender. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and add my rice inside of here. Alright, guys, it's best to use leftover rice. You don't want to just cook some rice and then use it. It's not going to give you the same texture, consistency that you would like. So definitely use some leftover rice. So now I'm going to add some soy sauce in here. This is low sodium soy sauce. And I'm going to add a little kitchen bouquet for a little extra color. That's optional. All right, then I'm going to add some onion powder. All 
and a little bit more black pepper next I'm going to add my tomato bouillon all right I'm just going to give that a good mix I just want to get my rice coated with that kitchen bouquet and get all of my seasonings well mixed inside of here You just want to mix this until you can no longer see the whiteness of the rice. But if you do want to, guys, you can definitely leave that kitchen bouquet out and just uh, use the coloring off of the uh, soy sauce, or you can add some W sauce. Alrighty, so after all of that, this is how it should look right here. Everything has a nice uniformed color. This is how I like for my okra fried rice to look. Just a little brownness on it. You can see that it's just kind of falling apart. There's no sticky gumminess from the okra or anything. So this dish is done. And I'm just going to plate that up. I have me some uh, deep fried crispy shrimp to go with it. So I'm going to get that all played up, guys, and I'm going to be back and give it a taste test. All right, all right, guys, I'm coming in with a quick taste test right here. This is my okra fried rice. And I have me some fried shrimp. So we're going to jump right into this thing. Give this a little taste test. And I got my spoon back. <laughs> That's okra. That's sausage. First of all, that's seasoned perfectly. Also, there's no slime on that okra. I keep trying to tell people there's a certain way to cook okra so that it's not sliming. That is so good. Look at that. Mm. The shrimp. I'm gonna have to do a video on shrimp one day. Nice and crunchy. Mm. Alrighty, guys. Alright, alright, guys. You can hear that nice crunch of that shrimp. And you can hear me smacking. Don't laugh, Wanda. I know you're laughing, Wanda. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video guys please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment also subscribe to my channel if you are new and you can follow me on facebook instagram tiktok and twitter cooking and chilling with kenny and guys i'm going to see you in my next video which is my sunday dessert a nice pineapple upside down coconut cake peace